Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carle. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. Polar Bear Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carle Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Lion, Lion, What Do You Hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear hippopotamus hippopotamus what do you hear i hear a flamingo fluting in my ear flamingo flamingo what do you hear i hear a zebra braying in my ear zebra Zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Zookeeper, zookeeper, 
What do you hear? I hear children. Growling like a polar bear. Roaring like a lion. Snorting like a hippopotamus. Fluting like a flamingo. Braying like a zebra. Hissing like a boa constrictor. Trumpeting like an elephant. Snarling like a leopard. Yelping like a peacock. Bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. From Head to Toe by Eric Carl. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a giraffe and I bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a buffalo and I raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a monkey and I wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a seal and I clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a gorilla and I thump my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a cat and I arc my back. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a crocodile and I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it. I am an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I can do it. I am I and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it. I can do it. Mr. Seahorse by Eric Carl. Mr. and Mrs. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea. Mrs. Seahorse began to wiggle and twist this way and that. It's time for me to lay my eggs, she said. Can I help? asked Mr. Seahorse. Oh yes, thank you, said Mrs. Seahorse. And she laid her eggs into a pouch on Mr. Seahorse's belly. I'll take good care of our eggs, said Mr. Seahorse. I promise. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a group of trumpet fish hidden in a patch of reeds. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Stickleback? asked Mr. Seahorse. Delighted, replied Mr. Stickleback. 
I have just built a nest and right away Mrs. Stickleback laid her eggs in it. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. Keep up the good work, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a lionfish hidden behind a coral reef. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Tilapia? asked Mr. Seahorse. Mr. Tilapia couldn't answer. His mouth was full of eggs. I know, I know, said Mr. Seahorse. Mrs. Tilapia has laid her eggs. Now you are taking good care of them until they hatch. Mr. Tilapia nodded his head. You must be very happy, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a pair of leaf fish hidden among the seaweed. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Kurtus? asked Mr. Seahorse. Perfectly fine, replied Mr. Kurtus. Mrs. Kurtus has laid her eggs and I have stuck them on my head. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You are doing a good job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. As Mr. Seahorse drifted gently through the sea, he passed right by a stonefish hidden behind a rock. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Pipe? asked Mr. Seahorse. Couldn't be better, replied Mr. Pipe. Mrs. Pipe has laid her eggs along my belly. Now I am taking good care of them until they hatch. You should feel proud of yourself, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. But before long, Mr. Seahorse met another fish. How are you, Mr. Bullhead? asked Mr. Seahorse. Tip top, replied Mr. Bullhead. Mrs. Bullhead laid her eggs. The eggs hatched. Now I am babysitting. You are doing a great job, said Mr. Seahorse and swam on his way. The time had come for the seahorse babies to be born. Mr. Seahorse wiggled and twisted this way and that. At last, the babies tumbled out of Mr. Seahorse's pouch and swam away. One baby turned around and tried to get back into the pouch. Oh no, said Mr. Seahorse. I do love you, but now you are ready to be on your own.